Hey guys, Ryan1988 or Justin back here on the House of Horror and I know it's Thursday and I usually review Saturday but I'm actually not going to be here uh, this Saturday to review. I'm actually going to be off for about two weeks. I'm going on Christmas break, holiday break, and I am not going to be here. So first of all, I hope everybody has a uh, safe and great holiday and also Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. I hope you spend time with your loved ones, your family and friends, and just have have an awesome and safe time. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year's to you all. Um, so, and uh, I tried to review this movie this last Saturday that just came, and it did not pop up on Saturday. Um, I think YouTube's going through some problems, and, you know, they're trying to change the layout and everything again, and, um, you know, I think they're going through some problems with trying to load videos, and uh, some videos aren't appearing on YouTube. So, uh, I am back here on this uh, Thursday, uh, making up for that Saturday review and talking about the same movie. And the movie I'm going to talk about is one that a lot of people know about. Um, it does get mixed reviews, but I personally love it. It is a remake, and it's kind of a loosely based remake, so it's not a straight out remake. And the movie is Sorority Row, which came out in 2009. Now, when this movie came out, it made hardly any money. Um, I didn't see it in theaters because I thought it was going to be like a PG-13 prom night remake type of movie, and um, it really wasn't. It's an R-rated movie. Um, it has some fun moments, some good gore, and um, I just really enjoy this movie. It is a loosely based remake on the 1983 slasher film, The House on Sorority Row, but in my opinion, if you watch this movie on its own, it really does not feel like a remake. So if you have not seen The House on Sorority Row, and you're questioning to yourself whether you should see that before this one, it really doesn't make a difference if you see that movie or not. Um, I would recommend it because I love it, and I actually prefer it over this movie, uh, but I still love this movie as well. So, um, but The Sorority Row is basically uh, about a group of college girls. It's their last year as college students. They're seniors. Uh, it opens off, opens up with them having a party and, you know, they're drinking champagne, making toasts because it's their last year and they want to have a great year and then after that they're moving on with their lives. So it's their first, their, no, their last year, sorry about that, and uh, they just want to celebrate and have a good time. So they're making a toast and their other college girl friend or their all, other college sorority sister, Megan, is in uh, the other room making out with her boyfriend and they all wind up, you know, pranking this boyfriend of Megan's uh, because Megan's boyfriend was cheating on her. And so they, fi they, they say that Megan's dead and they fake her death and they take her out in the middle of nowhere where they say they're going to hide the body and chop it up so no one can find out what happened and no one goes to jail. And so that's what they basically want to do. Um, and the boyfriend accidentally kills Megan, not going to say how if you haven't seen the movie, but he accidentally kills her and, you know, she starts screaming uh, and then they find, he finds out that she's actually alive and they were playing this prank on him. Um, so they actually do hide the body and they say that they're not going to tell anybody, they're going to keep it a secret, they're going to say that Megan disappeared and that she was gone and ran away. And they're going to have a fun last year, and, you know, they just want to move on with their lives. Um, some of them think it's wrong, some of them think they should go tell the police, but of course there's other girls that are, are worried, uh, Megan's boyfriend's worried, so they just want to keep it a secret, move on with their lives, and not tell anybody. Uh, nine months later, uh, after they graduate, they are having this last party, and in the middle of the day, strange things start happening. They think they start seeing Megan, or Megan, sorry, and, uh, you know, they get strange messages on their phones, some picture messages. You know, somebody's playing a game with them, basically, and saying, I'm going to tell if you don't do this, and stuff like that. So, 
It starts off with that, and in the movie, people start getting killed off. Uh, most of the girls start getting killed off. Um, you know, there's a couple who survive. Not going to say who, of course. I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, so it's basically a typical slasher film and a remake. Uh, you know, and like I said, it's a loosely based remake off of the House on Sorority Row. Uh, in the original House on Sorority Row, they actually do hide a body, but it's actually their um, sorority mother who does not want them to have a party and she wants them out of the house, be, you know, after, you know, the semester's over and the girls don't like that. And so they play a prank on her and they accidentally shoot her and they decide they're going to hide her in the pool where no one goes into because it's really disgusting and green. So they try to hide the body of their sorority mother while in this one they hide their best friend's body so they don't get in trouble. So that is basically, you know, the, the same, ele same element in both movies, them hiding a body and then somebody knowing about it and going after them uh, during the movie. So that's the uh, same uh, element into both movies, but obviously they're different for different reasons. Um, but like I said, I just really enjoy this. I think it's a fun movie. Um, I know it gets mixed reviews. I know people don't like it. Um, for me, I would recommend it to people because it's a kind of a it's a kind of a fresh movie while it is a remake. Uh, but it's just a lot of fun. And like I said, if you haven't seen The House on Sorority Row, or if you haven't even heard of the movie, and if you've only seen this one, and you're questioning rather I should go see the original movie, you really don't need to if you don't want to. Um, I would recommend seeing it just because it is a great slasher film and I love it. But if you cannot find it and you can't pick it up or anything like that, don't worry, just watch Sorority Row, and, you know, if you watch it, it kind of feels like its own movie. Um, but I would recommend people seeing it. Like I said, it does get uh, mixed reviews and bad reviews, um, but if you just take this movie into what it is, which is a fun slasher film, goofy slasher film, with characters that you want to get killed off and characters you want to survive towards the end, then I think you'll have a good time. It's a good popcorn flick. So that is going to be my review on Sorority Row. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you see the movie. Uh, definitely rent it or pick it up on DVD or Blu-ray and just have a good time with it. That's what I do and I personally love this movie. So that is Sorority Row. Uh, so that's going to be my review for this week. I will see you guys in about two weeks and I will talk to you guys later. So I hope everybody has a great holiday. I will see you guys later and uh, I'm going to go now, guys. Okay.